uh, the challenges we face in accessing medical um, countermeasures during the COVID-19 pandemic, especially the availability of vaccines, only make today's event much more uh, remarkable. The vulnerabilities of global health systems exposed stark inequalities and inequities in access to essential medical resources for significant populations at a time of great existential peril. In Africa, we did not just witness, but also bore the brunt of arbitrary distribution and denial of access, as well as vaccine nationalism, which coupled with Africa's over-reliance on external manufacturers magnified our all already very serious situation. This time, the time has come, therefore, for Africa to actualize health sovereignty by liberating itself from dependency on unsustainable frameworks and accelerating initiatives to become self-reliant in vaccine production. A fundamental value of Pan-African solidarity is that no one is free until all people are free. In vaccine production and supply terms, no one is safe until everyone is safe. Making vaccines universally accessible to all our people, regardless of nationality and status, is an urgent imperative that we must respond to without any hesitation. It is encouraging, therefore, that the Africa Union has demonstrated strong resolve in taking effective measures to bolster the continent's healthcare infrastructure, human capital, and institutional frameworks, as was very ably um, articulated by my friend from CDC. The collective determination of Africa's leaders is in shaping the future of healthcare by establishing a resilient, equitable, and sustainable vaccine manufacturing ecosystem is now beyond doubt. And I promise, as I did when uh, I was asked to champion the vaccine manufacture in our continent, that we are mobilizing resources, we are mobilizing uh, support, both moral and financial, to make sure that Africa has the potential, the resources, and the investment to make sure that we, are, um, we, we provide a mechanism for ensuring that we sustainably have vaccine manufacture in our continent. And I'm proud to state that Kenya remains steadfast in its commitment to collaborate with partners like the Africa Union Commission, Africa CDC, and the Africa Medicine Agency, World Health Organization, and of course the International Vaccine Institute to make a strong contribution to this endeavor. We have every and we are taking effective measures to prepare Kenya and Africa for future outbreaks, epidemics, pandemics, and other health emergencies by translating this commitment into tangible results within a time that we are scaling. Furthermore, as Kenya graduates from dependency on donor support for the supply of routine vaccines to support primary immunization, the partnership and collaboration whose successful culmination we are witnessing here today will guarantee sustainable self-sufficiency in the supply of these commodities as we make our health provision in Kenya a truly bottom-up affair. This will go a long way in fulfilling a fundamental objective of the universal health coverage strategy pillar of our bottom-up economic transformation agenda. Looking ahead as a country, we cherish this partnership and embrace its ambitious goals the establishment of the IVI country and project office in Nairobi shows our commitment, ability, readiness, and willingness as a government to accelerate the progress of our universal health coverage agenda and to promote Africa's self-sufficiency in the most critical dimensions of healthcare. Under this partnership, we will strive to strengthen our health systems by assuring commodity security through research, development, 
and manufacturing. I believe in our collective ability to achieve even greater results working together. As was said by our Minister for, uh, for Health, it is our intention to change our health delivery systems from emphasis on curative to more emphasis on preventive and promotive. And the availability of uh, vaccines around the country help us in the prevention um, journey. And that will truly make part of our interventions, including our community health promoters around Kenya, a truly bottom-up engagement as we work on our delivery of health. As we celebrate this moment, I urge you to keep pushing the boundaries of innovation and enhance our support for research and development in biotechnology because it, that will enable us to take charge and define the future of healthcare. Your commitment is vital for our progress. Let us therefore use this milestone as a platform for launching a path into the future through exploration and discovery and work together in the spirit of solidarity and partnership to build resilient health systems and ensure that the whole world is prepared for any health emergency in the near or distant future. We call and we recall our past experiences, however unpleasant, with a view to consolidating the gains already secured, particularly on lessons learned from the COVID-19 pandemic and to deploy innovation to devise a bold way forward for Kenya, Africa, and globally. This is why I am very proud of what we have accomplished and confident about the transformative achievements we shall definitely accomplish together as we go into the future. I'm thanking you all for finding time to join us on this very important occasion when Kenya is ascending to be a member to the IVI. And Your Excellency, your presence here today is clearly a demonstration of your determination, commitment, and dedication to Kenyans achieving universal health coverage. Your Excellency, you know our plan for universal health coverage is hinged on the foundation of primary health care. And in primary health care, Your Excellency, we seek to promote wellness and healthy Kenyans. But equally under primary health care, Your Excellency, is that we prevent diseases. And it has been shown that the surest way to prevent disease, Your Excellency, is through immunization. We can only achieve that by investing in vaccines. And therefore, our being here today is clearly in line with what we are trying to do back at home to ensure that Kenyans, we prevent them from getting ill and equally, we promote health care. Your Excellency, our session to IVI is coming at a critical time when the global discourse is on how we manage outbreaks, emergencies, and how we prepare ourselves to ensure that we are able to respond as and when they happen, and equally, that we build resilient systems. Last week, Your Excellency, at the 77th World Health Assembly, the International Health Regulations Amendment was approved and adopted. And the key highlights, Your Excellency, of those amendments is that now we are going to have equity and benefit sharing. And that speaks to what we are just about to do with IVI when it comes to clinical trials that will be done at Kemri and uh, with Biovax participating. So as a country, we are very proud to have participated in the revision of the international health regulations. President of the Republic of Kenya, the Honorable Nakamicha Wafula, Cabinet Secretary for Health of the Republic of Kenya, your excellencies and distinguished guests. Today's accession ceremony commemorates two critical developments in the relationship between Kenya and IVI. First, IVI's, uh, Kenya's membership as an IVI state party, and second, the pending arrival of the new office, IVI office in Kenya. 
One year ago on this date, as, as Andari has mentioned, I had the honor of being received by President Ruto at the State House in Nairobi, where we discussed how Kenya and IVI together could advance our shared vision of a strong and sustainable vaccine ecosystem that advances science, prevents disease, and saves lives. One year later, we, we raised the flag of Kenya at the IVI headquarters. With the exceptional support of the Kenyan government, and our research and development collaborators, we're now preparing to establish IVI's country office in Nairobi, which will host an initiative called Advancing Vaccine End-to-End -end Capabilities in Africa, or AVEC Africa, together with other local, regional, and, and uh, international organizations, and, and with proud collaboration uh, with Africa CDC. The ambitious goal